Every day, we use shampoo and body wash dispensers in the shower and liquid hand soap dispensers at the sink. Have you ever considered that your hands, hair, and body might not really be clean after washing? Past studies have found one out of four refillable dispenser systems to be contaminated with disease-causing bacteria. It's unclear how this contamination happens. The leading German hygiene institute, the Rheinwald University of Applied Sciences, conducted a study to identify the root cause. A total of 57 standard liquid soap and shampoo pump dispensers and 47 clothes press dispensers from everyday use were analyzed. It was found that 38 of the 57 refillable pump dispensers, or two out of three, were highly contaminated with bacteria. But none of the 47 clothes press dispensers were contaminated. So, how did the bacteria get into the refillable pump dispensers? Initially, refilling was suspected as a source of contamination. The Institute's researchers therefore injected a limited number of bacteria into the dispensers to replicate contamination during refilling. It was proven that such bacteria will be contained by the liquid's preservative system and that refilling is not the root cause for contamination found in the samples. The Institute investigated further and analyzed what happened during regular use in the shower or at the sink. The permanent exposure of the dispenser to water was replicated with a colored liquid. Water, depicted as the blue liquid, enters the pump and remains contained, unable to drain away. This stagnant water serves as an ideal medium for bacteria accumulation and biofilm growth. When the pump is pushed, shampoo or body wash is dispensed, and air is simultaneously drawn into the dispenser to prevent a vacuum. The Institute discovered that not only air, but also biofilm is transported into the dispenser with each pump stroke. Inside, the biofilm builds up on the surface of the liquid and enables a continued exponential growth of different bacteria. The biofilm, sitting atop the liquid, is not contained or inhibited by the preservative system. It continues growing. With time or agitation, the biofilm mixes with the liquid and is dispensed into consumers' hands with every use of the pump. As a result, the hands, bodies, and hair run the risk of being bacterially contaminated after washing, increasing the risk of an infection. Such infections can be life-threatening to immune-suppressed patients. For healthy people, the bacteria can potentially cause eye irritation, discomfort, diarrhea, coughing, or a lung infection. However, the Institute identified ways to mitigate the risks. The study confirmed that pump dispensers with a drainage system that prevents water from assembling in the pump head and thereby the formation of a biofilm. These pump dispensers can be considered safe. Press dispensers system are proven by the study to be the most hygienic choice. Due to their design and the liquid's downward release through a membrane, they don't allow bacteria contamination during use. For more information, visit hygienic-dispensers.com.